Right now we're at West Bountiful Elementary, another exciting project we have going here at the Davis School District. This is a very challenging uh, site. Uh, we're building right next to the old school. I think we have about 10 feet between the old school and the new school. And so it's very complicated to try to fit construction workers and new buildings in. Um, I think the kids quite enjoy it though when they come out their classroom and, and see this building um, and see all the new construction, it's pretty exciting for them. We're gonna move into, the, into this building, um, first part of April hopefully, when, if everything goes according to plan. And then then at that point we'll move all the new kids here and then tear down the old school and then have it completely 100% done when they come back in August. We actually had a classroom delivered into Miss Balzer's fifth grade classroom of the new furniture. So it's been an exciting time for our fifth grade students to see what the furniture in the new school is going to look like. We're so excited not just inside the building but our community and they are so thankful that the bond passed and that they're getting a fabulous school and are just excited about the whole process. I'm Eric Flint, Coordinator Construction Services with Davis School District and we're here this morning at uh, Elementary 63. A little snowy outside today but inside work continues as you can see here they're framing and doing mechanical duct work, plumbers are here, insulator, electricians. Sheetrock is all hung on the walls in the other classroom wing and so it's looking a little bit more finished and work moves along. So right now Ellison Park Elementary Sand Springs Elementary and Heritage Elementary have very, very high numbers. This will not only take Sand Springs off a year-round schedule, it will make all three schools have more favorable numbers to work with in their schools. We're shooting to be done, at least done enough to start moving furniture and starting to fixture up the building in about mid-July. That way, hopefully by the 1st of August, you know, we're in pretty good shape and we'll be ready for the teachers when they get here the middle of the month and ready for school at the end. So, we should be in pretty good shape. One of the things that is the most exciting to me, and I saw it in the plans, but to actually see it, is the space that they've added to the classroom. So there will be more space for working space, flexible working space for the students. This morning was my first time coming in the building, and seeing the progress that's been made on the building is very exciting and also makes it feel even more real to me, and just looking forward to filling it with students. This is an exciting project. We got started just before um, Thanksgiving. Started moving dirt and getting things coordinated. With the design of this school, we are constrained. We have to work within the existing school and then some uh, city properties here to the south end. The school is on the east. On the west side, we have North Davis Junior High, which is in full operation, and then a very busy street to the north, which is SR 193. Uh, so this is going to be a two-story structure, very unique from any other building we have in the Davis School District. We should be ready for completion in August of 2021. I'm Chris Williams. I'm the Director of Communication Operations in the Davis School District. This project, as well as other projects that have been going on since 2015, only resulted because voters approved our bond elections. The work being done in South Clearfield is actually a result of a facility assessment survey that the district did back in 2013. In that survey, we found that South Clearfield, of all of our schools, had more long-term pressing issues. It was built in 1950. It isn't like it's unsafe. Students still go to school there, but we really wanted to update this facility, which has served the community greatly. And this $28 million facility that will be built and the doors will open in the fall of 2021 will be fantastic and we're grateful that voters allowed us to build a facility like this.